Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you are not new then welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a continuation of a series that I've been doing on my channel and it's just basically where I've been styling up some wardrobe essentials or wardrobe pieces in your closet and I've been styling them up 10 different ways. So um, so far we've done a white t-shirt, we've done the white button-up shirt, we've done the black blazer, the gray blazer, black t-shirt. We did that last week. So this week we are going to do the black slip skirt and the black slip skirt is just a perfect piece you know definitely a wardrobe essential which is why I'm styling up in this video and I think you can wear it year-round but I more specifically like to wear slip skirts in the summer in the springtime just because I just think it's just you know just looks good and it just looks chic and I just love a black slip skirt and the one that I'm going to be styling up for you guys today is from Zara I've had it for a few years now but it's like my go-to it's my only black slip skirt and I love it but I will put down some options down below in case you are in the market for a black slip skirt or you watch this video and you decide that you want to try one out so I will put some options similar to the one that I'm going to be styling up in this video um, but that's not the purpose of the video the purpose is to give you some outfit inspiration in case you have a black slip skirt or you know you want to you know try to figure out ways to style it up so that's the purpose of this video today so all right so we'll just get into it so if you want to see 10 ways to style a black slip skirt then just keep watching All right, this first outfit I call my date night look, my sexy date night look. This is definitely a dressy look with a slip skirt. I'm gonna share with you guys that you can style the slip skirt, you know, dress it up, dress it down. So this first look, I am dressing it up. And so of course I have on the slip skirt. So I have on a like, kind of like, taupey color like mushroom color like one shoulder off the shoulder type of a top i got that from shein it is a bodysuit and it's just a ribbed material and like i said it's just like a one shoulder you can't tell because i have lay layered over it just a black cardigan because you know we're going into the summertime where it gets hot so you know you can have you like a little cardigan over your shoulders just to kind of keep as like a little layering piece um so yeah so i have on a cardigan on top of the little one you know shoulder top and then as far as on my feet I have on these barely there like black sandals that I got from Zara as well I've had them for a while and then as far as my handbag I just kept it fun like I said this is a date night look so with my handbag I just kept it you know just kind of add a little fun because it is a neutral look so just to add a little fun to the look I just popped on this or added this like cow print um, little clutch that I got from Shein as well and then my sunglasses I just kept it you know basic and chic as well and i just styled up with these cat eye sunglasses that i got from amazon they are a dupe of the saint laurent ones so but i just absolutely love this outfit i just think it's chic and just so fun and just you know basic but the pop of the animal print just kind of kicks it up a notch and makes it a little bit more interesting if you will but yeah i love this outfit it's you know again it's you know chic and you can style it up and go like on a date night which is what i will wear it to or you know you can also wear it to work too just put on the cardigan if you need a little bit more coverage if you can't have like you know exposed too much up here you can just style up and wear the cardigan so but i absolutely love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about it and yeah we'll get into the next look all right the next look is also a cute casual look um I would wear something like this to run errands. I think you could also wear this too for like a little brunch, you know, date or like a date date or something or to go to brunch with a girl. So um, I just kept on the same sunglasses that I had on in the previous outfit and then just to add, you know, a little bit of fun to the look um, because in the spring and summertime, you know, we don't do a whole lot of layering because it's just too hot. So I go all out with accessories. So I just have on like this little flower or floral choker that I got from Boohoo just recently. It is sold out but I did find some similar on Amazon so I will link those down below um, but I absolutely love this little choker and then as far as my top I just have on like this crochet knitted kind of top that I got from H&M it's definitely giving me boho chic vibes it's definitely like a boho chic vibe I would say with this outfit and with this look um, but it's very monochromatic as you can see no color so if you're not into color this is a perfect outfit for you to recreate um, and then of course I have the skirt on and then as far as my handbag I just have on this little crossbody handbag that I got from Commence it is definitely a dupe of the Gucci one that is out and very popular and trendy 
but I got mine from um, the brand Commence, so I absolutely love it. Just a perfect little crossbody bag if you want to run errands and you don't, you know, you want to be hands free and don't need to carry a whole lot of stuff. And then it's on my feet. I have on these little chunky like flip flop sandals that I got from Nasty Gal. I want to say a couple of years ago, maybe last year. Um, this is definitely a dupe of the the roll sandals that they that they sell. So I absolutely love these. Um, but yeah, again, this is just a cute chic look. I would call this like a boho chic kind of look because I'm into chic, but I put like another adjective in, you know, before chic, like boho chic or cowboy chic or just chic, you know, in general, or casual chic. So, um, but all my looks are definitely chic. So, but I love this outfit. You guys let me know what you think about it. It's something really nice. You know, um, underneath the crochet top, I have on like a little cami top that I'll show you because I'm going to style it up in the next um, outfit. But just to kind of, you know, because it is an open knit and I don't want to be too exposed. So I just popped on a little cami or a little like lace camisole underneath it. So, but this is the outfit. I absolutely love it. Like I said, it's definitely giving me like casual chic, boho chic kind of vibes. The crochet top definitely gives that boho kind of feel, but the outfit is pretty much chic. So. But I love it. You guys let me know what you think about it and we'll get to the next outfit. Okay, the next outfit, I absolutely love it as well. Um, it's again another chic outfit. Um, I don't know if you want to call this boho chic. I guess you could maybe western chic because the denim vest, I think, kind of gives it like a western chic type of vibe. But starting from the top, the sunglasses I have on, those are from Amazon. They're like a Celine dupe and I just absolutely love those. Um, and then as far as my top, I have on, again, like I said, the uh, denim, the little denim vest that I got from Zara last year. Um, I just absolutely love this vest. And like I said, that's why I'm saying like this kind of gives you like western chic or like cow girl chic vibes with this outfit because of the denim vest. Um, so underneath the denim vest, I have on this lace camisole. I just styled it up in the last um, outfit, so I just thought I'd just keep it on, just like a little layering piece. Because you can still layer in the summertime, but you need to do some light layering like this. So I um, absolutely love this denim vest. And then um, as far as my handbag, I just have this little denim handbag that I got from Etsy, just to kind of go with the denim vibe of this outfit. And then of course on my feet I have on these denim slides that are from Steve Madden. They are like a Hermes dupe but just absolutely love this. Absolutely love all the denim in this outfit. That's why I said this is kind of like a western chic or like a cowgirl chic or that coastal you know cowgirl um, trend that's going or a stack that's going on you know around TikTok and everywhere I think right now. Um, so this is just kind of a chic way to wear that style aesthetic if you're into it but you don't want to do too much. I think denim is kind of like a happy medium there so um, but I absolutely love this outfit. I just think it's just really nice and chic. I would wear this to run errands. I would wear this to go to brunch during the day or date day. Um, I absolutely love this outfit and just so cute and just so perfect. So, but uh, you guys let me know what you think about it and we'll get into the next outfit. All right, the next look is a little, the, it's a little bit on the like warmer side. It's a little warm, too warm to wear something like this or too, yeah, this is actually like a cool weather type of outfit, but I feel like, you know, you can still wear something like this. In this video, you know, you can style these outfits, I feel like, even in like the colder months, like fall and winter, like this would be a cute fall outfit, I feel like. Or if you live in a climate where it's still not quite hot yet, I feel like you can pull this off too. So, um, so starting from the top, I have on one of my New York Yankees hats that I got from Amazon. I have these in several colors, just obsessed with them. So um, yeah, so this hat is from Amazon, and then as far as my top, I have on this, this a light, it's a sweatshirt, but it's a light sweatshirt. So I feel like, you know, you can still get away wearing something like this right now. Like you probably wouldn't in like July or August, but right now I feel like you can get away wearing something like this, at least at night. Like I would wear something like this at night when it's a little bit chilly, because you know, sometimes when it rains, and then at night, if you wanna go out somewhere and it's a little chilly because of the rain, then I think a little lightweight, very lightweight uh, sweatshirt is perfect for like your cooler nights. So I'll wear something like this at night, maybe to go to the movies or something. Um, but yeah, so the shirt, the, the sweatshirt, I got that from Etsy and Etsy seller. It says Saint Laurent on it somewhat. The S is a little crooked so that it's not totally, you know, Saint Laurent. It's not a total knockoff of Saint Laurent, but it's kind of like inspired, if you will. So, but yeah, I got this off of Etsy from an Etsy seller. 
Um, and then as far as handbag, I have all my little Louis Vuitton, little like water on the chain that I got from um, Vestiaire Collective. So I got this second hand and I absolutely love it. Just to kind of go with the vibe of the look. And then as far as on my feet, I have on my Adidas Sambas that are huge right now. I've had these things probably over 10 years. So I just go to show, keep your stuff because things just circle back around and come right back in style. So I'm so glad I didn't get rid of these because they are huge right now. Um, and these apparently are hard to get so but yes, yeah, so I have on my Adidas Sambas and yeah So this is just a casual look like I said I will wear this at night You know where I live till I go to the movies or something like I will wear this at night to go to the movies or something um, Or go like to get like some late night little snack or something a late night dinner, you know with my fam so um, But I love this outfit. I think it's really cute. Like I said, you can wear this in the fall time um, Early winter depending on where you live um, or you can wear it now if you don't live in like a super hot climate where you kind of got mild weather still like 60s I would say if you weather's like in the 60s I think you could style something like this up during the day and not just at night but of course you can save it for night too so but I absolutely love this outfit again it's a chic look with the skirt and yeah I just absolutely love it and kind of a sporty chic <laughs> yeah this is definitely my sporty chic vibe so um but yeah I love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about it and we'll get to the next look And this X outfit is just kind of bringing in some, you know, pops of color. So I would call this like a dressy chic kind of vibe. So this is something that I would wear to church. I'll wear this of course like date night, but probably I would wear this more specifically to church. So this is like a cute church outfit or like a cute like wedding guest if you're going to a wedding. I think this would be a nice outfit to wear to a wedding. Um because you if you don't want especially if you don't want to like put on a dress and you just want to like be dressy but not put on a dress. I think this is a perfect um, combination for you to wear to a wedding or any kind of special event where you have to dress up. I think this is a cute little compromise. So um, starting from the top, I have on my, I think these sunglasses I have on are my Prada sunglasses. And so just absolutely love these. And then as far as my blazer, it's a linen blazer that I got from Mango few years ago I have it in like a blue I have it in white I have it in purple like I love this linen blazer and I think they still sell them on mango if they do I will try to link some down below um, but yeah so just this pastel yellow or like like muted yellow or just like I don't know like light yellow I, I, if you watch been watching me you guys know I love been loving this color I just think it's so pretty on my skin tone I just love yellow especially like this pale yellow color so yeah, so that blazer is from Mango, and then underneath that I have on another camisole because I have a million of these, and I tend to wear these more so in the spring and summertime just because, you know, it's cool and I can layer something on top. Um, so this camisole in particular is like a, um, I don't know what kind of print, it's like polka dotted print, a little bit animal print-ish if you will, um, but it has like some little lace detail here at the neckline, it also has lace detail um, uh, along the hem of it and this is from Target. I actually purchased this in one of my um, hundred dollar outfit challenge challenges and I got this particular top from uh, Target so love it and then as far as my handbag I just thought I would pop out this cute little like basket bag sort of a situation going on here I think I got that from Zara um, several years ago and I absolutely love it I just think it looks cute and chic with the look just to kind of bring some elements of summertime into this look because like this whole like basket weave type of a situation and type of bags or you know what we typically would wear in the summertime so I just thought to make this more summery which is already it is right it's already spring summery type of outfit just because of the pale yellow color that I'm styling up in this outfit so anyway just to bring a little bit more summery vibe to the look I just added this, this handbag that from that's from Zara and then as far as on my feet I have my pale yellow little barely there sandals these are from Mango I just recently scooped these up so they are still available. I think I got them in a, well, I did get them in a brown too. So, um, but I will link these down in the description box for you guys as well. But I absolutely love these. I love the square toe of them. They just make any outfit look cute and chic to me, in my opinion. Um, but I absolutely love this outfit. Like I said, it's definitely a dressy chic kind of look. And, you know, I can wear this, you know, for special occasions. Only kind of special occasion I really have to go to, which I wouldn't call it a special occasion. It's just probably just to go to church with this outfit because I absolutely love it and I just think she can perfect for it and very modest and minimalistic with a little pop of color so um but I absolutely love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about it and we'll get to the next one 
All right, and this next outfit is super fun. I call this my cowgirl chic outfit. And again, I'm styling up a cowgirl hat. I'm, t I, you know, I've already told y'all, you guys, you know, prepare to be sick of me in this cowgirl or cowboy hat. Like I, I'm into them. I'm feeling them right now. And the more I style them up, the more I want to get more. Now I'm thinking I want to get a black one. Cause I think a black one would have looked better in this outfit, but I just went with the straw colored one just because I thought, you know, why not? I think it looks cute for um this or with this outfit and plus it's the only one that i have so um but i call this again like i said my cowgirl coastal cowgirl chic look and so yeah i have on my little cowgirl hat that i got from um buckle i just recently showed this in one of my uh, recent hauls and then as far as my sunglasses i have these orange tenant lenses sunglasses that i got from amazon i style these up probably in every video by by now so you're probably sick of them i hope you're not but i love them um and then i have on this orange little button-up shirt i think i got that from h&m last year and it's like in a linen type of a fabric or linen material i'm sure it's linen mixed with some other fabric but um it's definitely linen kind of feel you know feeling to it so it's super lightweight perfect for now and i just like tied it you know tied it up um just to make it more of like western slash cowgirl chic vibes um, and then my handbag, I just have on this like basket weave again, little handbag that I got from Zara. I've had this for several years as well. And then on my feet, I think the star of the show besides the hat is definitely the shoes. So I have on these cowboy boots that I got from a brand called 12th Tribe, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, I got these from a brand called 12th Tribe. And I love like a little pop of animal print in these boots. Um, just ties in perfectly with the dress and with the um, handbag as well. So um, I definitely like this outfit. It's a lot of a lot going on, but I feel like it's just a cute, like, chic look. A very, like I said, western chic kind of look. Perfect for the summertime. Like, this is an outfit that I would wear, like, to go to Nashville or something. I don't know what it is about. I've never been to Nashville, and I want to go. And I feel like this outfit would just look like something that I'll wear in Nashville. So hopefully this summer, that'll be one of the trips I can go on, like a little weekend getaway, because Nashville is too far from where I live here in Georgia. So maybe this will be an outfit that I'll wear to Nashville this summer, or just in general. But at some point, I really want to go to Nashville. I just really want to go, because I love music. I'm not really a fan of country music, but I know they have, you know, other kinds of music there that you can kind of celebrate and listen to um, there besides country, but I'm sure I know they're just basically known for country music, but anyway, um, I definitely want to wear this to Nashville or I'll wear this to like some sort of steakhouse or something. We have several of those here in Georgia, so, um, but it's definitely just a cute, like I said, cowgirl, cowgirl, coastal cowgirl chic look, so love it. Um, but you guys let me know what you think about it and we'll get into the next outfit. The next outfit I never would have thought to style up this particular way I've seen um, a lot of like outfit inspo where women are styling up dresses with like um, like some jeans or dresses with like some like I don't know just like different like different ways of styling up a dress other than just the simple or the normal way and that's just you know styling it up and that's it but i like the layering of this and it's a light layer because this dress in particular is super lightweight and it's just a leopard print dress that i got from zara several several years ago like i've had this dress for so long and it's a button up it buttons up all the way through so i just unbuttoned it just like up until like my belly button just to kind of give it like a little bit of a cropped kind of a look um but i absolutely love it i just kind of like i said unbuttoned it and just let the skirt kind of peek through and just love that look of it um it's like i said it's layering but it's not too much um you definitely i feel like when you walk you know in the winds blowing i feel like the dress will just flow it'll just kind of flow and just be so pretty and billowy and then of course you have the black midi skirt or the black um satin midi skirt that'll just also flow too so it's just a pretty just outfit and i just absolutely love it so yeah so like i said the dress is from zara's old um the little clutch i have on it's, it's kind of reminds me of like a little taco but that clutch is old it's from shein i just absolutely love it i just finally got out a lot of my spring summer bags to style up for you guys um so i absolutely love this clutch and it's just again in that straw material so perfect for the spring and summer and then on my feet i just actually just pop these out of my um storage as well and they're just some little slides and they have like some little pattern on them like some chevron kind of pattern so just kind of mix it up and do like pattern on pattern because i love 
kind of styling that and doing that right now like pattern on pattern and as long as the pattern or the colors of the pattern kind of work together or kind of in the same color tone then it just kind of works so um but i absolutely love this outfit and then of course the sunglasses these are just like some rimless um frameless i should say sunglasses with like a little chain detail like pearl chain detail that i got from shein both these both of those pieces are from shein so just a chic look i love this look this is probably besides the last look with the cowgirl hat this was probably one of my favorites because like i said i never would have thought to put this dress and this skirt together like this but it just works and it just looks really cute and just really chic um i'll wear this again um to date night or date day like this one more so probably wear this for like brunch um, I'd wear this to church because I think it's perfect for, you know, church. I'll probably button up one more button just so I have a little bit of modesty for, you know, the Lord's house. <laughs> um, but I think it's just a cute look. Like I said, I never would have thought to style up this dress in this way. So that's just one way you can style up, you know, your dresses. If you have, especially if you have up a dress that's like buttoned up all the way, just kind of unbutton it, the bottom part of it, and just kind of, you know, keep the top part buttoned up and just layer like either a skirt like I'm doing here or some you know jeans or even some shorts like if you have like some Bermuda shorts or something like that I think that'll be cute especially if the dress you have is kind of short um this one is midi length so it kind of goes the same length of my um black skirt so but I absolutely love this outfit again like I said this is probably one of my favorites absolutely love it hands down such a cute and chic look and it's definitely giving me Peg Bundy vibes with the leopard print but leopard print i think is a printless in style now it's in, on trend now i feel like it's coming back so um but yeah love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about it and we'll get to the next look all right this next look is again another fun look and yeah i just absolutely love it i just wanted to style up a you know graphic tee um so i just picked this one um that i've had in my wardrobe and it's been a while since i've worn this i got this little shirt from Amazon um, but anyway starting from the top I have on my little pink another New York Yankees hat this pink one is from Amazon um, and then the top I have on this little Barbie top um, that uh, top I got from Amazon as well I think it's still available I think it's in other several colors so I will link it down below just to kind of you know we know the Barbie movie is coming out you know I think in July the Barbie movie is coming out so just to kind of you know keep in line with that whole with the whole barbie movie that's coming out and i just feel like a black barbie when i what i have on this you know little t-shirt so just really cute and so as far as this other accessories i have on this brown like chocolate brown little handbags like a woven bag that i got from mango absolutely love it um and then as far as on my feet i have on my brown converse just, just to kind of go with the brown in the face of the woman on the shirt i just wanted to you know instead of styling it up with black or any more black because there's black in the shirt with the woman's little afro there so that kind of ties in with the black skirt and then like i said the brown her brown skin tone um kind of ties in with the brown of the bag and the brown of the converse sneaker so i just absolutely love this outfit i just thought it was really cute and really just like a casual chic vibe if you will so go run errands um to go to like a you know be a little uber for my kids because that's basically all i do is uber my children especially my son so i wear this to just like go uber them around to wherever their events they got going on um just or to like run to the grocery store i wear something like this so just something cute and fun you know with like little pops of color i just love this outfit so um i never would have thought to put this together but just thought it was cute and just worked so um but yeah so love this outfit definitely give me you know like little playful vibes going on with this look so but you guys let me know what you think about it and we will get into the next outfit all right the next look is definitely fun i just recently got this little um like camo top from um i got it from i went to a women's women's expo here in atlanta and uh, there was a vendor selling these type of shirts but like i think they had ones with nurse on it they had one with teachers on it so i just had to get one because they had a nurse on it because for those of you who are new here i am a registered nurse so i just had to get it and i just love like it's blinged out just love all that so yeah so this shirt um I, it's uh from a vendor at like a women's expo i wish i would have saved her card so i can give you guys the information but i didn't um but i love it because it has like little fringes on the side of it it has like little like little cutouts in it in the front and the back um just enough it's not too much but just enough i feel like and yeah i just love it and i haven't even worn it yet because i haven't decided what i would style it with 
um but i definitely would style it up with like jeans i definitely love it with the skirt and so i'm just waiting on the right moment because it's really been too cold because i got this around like the winter time so it's kind of too cold to really wear it and i feel like if you wear something like this you don't need to cut you know have anything over it you don't need to cover it up because it is a lot of detail in the shirt so um yeah so i just guess i've been just putting it in the back of my closet waiting on the perfect time or the right moment or the right piece to wear this with so i chose it you know chose this with the little black um slip skirt so yeah so that's all about the top um and then as far as my sunglasses i have these little like brown tinted lens sunglasses that i got from um shein and then i just decided you know to go with the green in my top i just decided to wear my little coach tabby bag um just to kind of go with the green vibe of this top and then as far as on my feet i just kept it casual because i feel like the shirt is definitely casual another like graphic tee but with a little bit of interest and detail with this graphic tee um so just like i said just to kind of keep it casual i just went with like some like birkenstock esque type of shoes that i got from um h m in this like gold metallic color just to kind of you know go with the gold because we know gold and just metallic in general is trending right now so just to kind of go you know with the trend so but i absolutely love this outfit like i said i've been trying to figure out what to wear with this um top and so there we go a black you know mini skirt with this looks great so but i absolutely love this outfit definitely think it's just kind of like a casual chic kind of vibe a little bit of edge just i think the top definitely gives like some edginess to the look because i don't think i've had any like edgy pieces or style of any like edgy piece edgy pieces with um the slip skirt so just to kind of show you you can you know style up the slip skirt because the slip skirt is definitely like a kind of like dressy you know kind of a piece i feel like and i think adding some edginess to it just kind of you know makes it to where it's not super you know like feminine or super you know dressy so um but just to kind of add a little bit of edginess to the look so i call this like my edgy chic look if you will so um but i absolutely love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about it and yeah we'll get to the next outfit <laughs> Alright, and here is the last and final outfit, and I just absolutely love it. I just kind of went all out, especially with the accessories with this outfit. So, starting from the top, I put on my little, um, I think these are my Prada sunglasses that I got. I think I got these from Sunglass Hut. I think I get a lot of, been getting a lot of my sunglasses, or like my luxury sunglasses from that from that site here recently. But yeah, this these are definitely um, my Prada ones that I got from Sunglass Hut. And then as far as on top, I have on my little um, Ralph Lauren little scarf that I got from the Ralph Lauren outlet. And I just absolutely love it. I love the colors and the neutral tones of it. So just wanted something to kind of layer on top of my shoulders because I do have on like this little bandeau top from Amazon. So I just wanted a little extra coverage, you know, um, because I would go out without the, the scarf. But just to kind of make it, like I said, I need to style up these, you know, style up with accessories because um, that's just my thing for the spring and summertime. So I just thought, what can I add to this look? So I just got up this scarf and just thought it would be perfect with this outfit um and then i just put on like a little belt like a little chain belt to, to again add on some little fun and just fun detail to the look um and then as far as my handbag i just have this like little black and basket weave kind of handbag that i got from zara just just wanted something small um to go with this outfit and then as far as on my feet i have on these camel toned um ballet flats because we know ballet flats are super trendy right now and just to kind of go with the get the casual kind of chic vibe of this look so this is definitely like a casual i don't know it could be dressy chic i think yeah this is more of a dressy chic kind of vibe more of like a going on a yacht kind of vibe you know going you know like south of france or something i'm just manifesting that i want to go to the south of france so bad um but yeah this is a cute like yacht boat you know excursion type of a um outfit just perfect just you know like that old money style i guess you could say this outfit is as well so um but i absolutely love it i just think it's just really nice and chic and i love the brown tones or camel tones mixed with the black i just think that's just a pretty chic again how many times can i say chic but it is a, a cute chic outfit that is just it just works our color combination that just works so but yeah, I just absolutely love this outfit. Um, I just did went all out with the accessories with this outfit just to show you that you can layer up with accessories and make your outfit pop because, you know, we're not doing a lot of layering, you know, like I said, for the warmer months. So one way to really make your outfit pop and really stand out and make a statement is with accessories. So, but I absolutely love this outfit. You guys let me know what you think about it. And yeah, 
uh that's it all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you got tons of inspo and you know ways to style up my black um slip skirt and just to kind of give you some ways to kind of style up you know if you have one in your wardrobe and i hope this helped you and gave you some inspo as far as how to style it up maybe you found out you know found some ways to style it up that you never thought you know that you could style up or never thought to even style up a black slip skirt so um i will link down below some options in case you're in the market for one um i'll try to find you guys some alternatives to the one that i show showed you in this outfit i think amazon i think i've seen some on amazon so i will link those down below too and all the pieces that i you know styled up in this video i will link down in the description box so just be sure to check down there but yeah i hope you guys got tons of inspo and if you like the video and you like this series don't forget to like and subscribe because i will be doing this every week um until you know i style up all the wardrobe essentials that i feel like every woman should have in her wardrobe so yeah so just stay tuned to see what i style up next week so thank you guys so much for watching let me know which outfit was your favorite and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye guys